Almost everyone has a parent or a grandparent who they've had to take the keys away and the reaction is absolutely terrible. We built Driver Lab for four purposes. Number one, we want to develop customized licensing, be able to test people for driving in different circumstances, see what they're safe in the different conditions. Number two, we want to be able to understand painkillers and other drugs and what safe dosages there are. Number three, we want to be able to address the problem of drowsy driving and whether vehicles can detect it and warn you of it and keep you awake. And number four, we want to look at implications of autonomous and semi-autonomous driving. Most driving simulators in the world are developed to improve the design of cars. Ours is developed to study drivers. It's the only simulator with full motion and 360 degrees in Canada. It's, it's, it's top of the line simulator. We hope there'll be a testing program at least across Canada or at least across Ontario to begin with um, where people can go and get a realistic driving experience. We expect to have guidelines for physicians in the prescription of drugs and to have done a lot to solve the problem of people falling asleep at the wheel. So we hope to have guided the um, the vehicle industry to develop driverless cars to be able to be a little bit more careful about how people interface to those cars. It's dealing with an issue which is not just technical but a really important social issue which puts stress in people's lives.